Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing with you with Knit Crate and they did contact me and sent me these boxes to review and I'm really really excited about this because Knit Crate is a subscription box company that basically specializes in knitting. So they have several different knitting boxes. The one that I'm going to be doing today is the original Knit Crate and then the Knit Crate Socks Edition. So I'm really really excited to try that out and I have also heard that they're going to be coming out with a crochet edition as well. So for those of you that are more into crocheting the knitting definitely keep on the lookout for that but anyway yeah let's get right into this unboxing so I'm going to start out with the original knit crate and I did of course have to uh, peek inside and take a look at everything that's in here so yeah let's just hop right into it so there are three skeins of yarn in here and they're the Mrs. Crosby loves to play yarn and this is in steamer trunk the color is Lagoon so it's just a really kind of pretty muted blue but it still kind of has that bright to it. I don't know. It's a little brighter than what I would typically reach for, I guess, but it still has that dull color that I really like. And then there are two other skeins of the same brand. And so this one is Garden House. And this is really cool. It's kind of like a tie-dyed green that's got all those different uh, shades in it. And then the last one is probably, if I was to go into a store, more the color that I'd pick. And this is Smitten. It's just a cream color, which, I mean, can you tell I really like cream? I need to get a cover for that outlet right there. I just noticed it. But anyway, yeah, these are all 100% superwash merino wool. They're super soft. I love that. And just working with merino is really fun. I don't know. Uh, I really like that it has that stretch to it for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, really excited to try that. And then they also give you a pattern that you can kind of play around with the yarns with. And this one has two. So it's Knitting Basket Patchwork Purse Collection number one. And so there are two different purses. There's this mi mitered, is that how you say it? I think it's mitered. Ooh. I feel kind of stupid saying that. But anyway, it's this hexagonal purse right here. Or there's purse number two, which is this triangle purse here. And so I'm going to need you guys to let me know which one I should do because while I would probably typically do this one if I were to do it by myself, uh, this one looks like it'd be really fun too. So let me know. This is number one and this one's number two. So let me know in the comment section which one I should do and then next month I will share it with you if I can get it done because oh my goodness, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I just had a little girl this past month in January and she is keeping me busy. So finally, there's a little extra in here and this is really cool because it's from an Etsy shop called Petting My Unicorn. I think that's what it's called. Yes, uh, I'm just looking at the little card here. So it's a lavender bath bomb and it's so pretty, do you see? how pretty it is. It's got the little lavender buds on it. It smells really good too. Oh yeah, I like that. And then um, that has been one of my biggest like post-pregnancy things. I've been taking a ton of baths just to kind of try and, you know, feel better. And so I'm really, really excited to try that. Plus it's really calming. Oh, so excited about that. Anyway, so yeah, that is the original Knit Crate. So let's move on to the socks edition. So here's the little Knit Crate socks box. I really like the box on this one. I don't know what it is. I just, I like boxes better than envelopes, though I do get why they would do envelopes. So um, yeah, let's see. Oh, here's the pattern. Found that right away. Uh, soft serve socks. Oh, those are cool. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it's got like ridges all along here. That'd be a really fun little sock to knit up. And then the yarn that they have to go with that is also one of those Mrs. Crosby yarns. And this is in train case. The color is Enchanted Garden, and this is really cool. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it's kind of, a, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's kind of like a lime green with like darker greens and um, some blue in there and I don't know if you can hear Evelyn I can hear her crying downstairs um, <laughs> but anyway yeah this is really soft too I think it'll be really nice to knit up and I do I really like making socks too they're just so much warmer than any sock that you can just purchase and yeah let's see what else is in here so the little extra is the same thing as the original knit crate so it's the little bath bomb again and so very excited to have two of those I'm really not someone that gets a lot of bath bombs just because you know I don't have a bathtub here but I do travel now for my baths so I will be using these. So there you go, those are my two boxes for this month. I am so excited to start playing with the yarn and work on the patterns and all of that. They're just really kind of unique things that I wouldn't 
probably pick up myself. Plus, I'm one of those people that I tend to go for the cheapest yarn available. <laughs> and uh, so working with some nicer yarn is gonna be a real treat for me. So I'm really excited about that. And um, if you guys are interested in Knit Crate, I do have a 20% off coupon that I will link below. And I do have some other links that will all be in the description, as well as just, you know, their main site if you're interested in not using an affiliate or anything like that all of it will be below so make sure to check that out i'm very excited about this box and as soon as i get evelyn calmed <laughs> then i'll probably start working on them because i've really tried to kind of hold off on playing with them until this video is done so it it's taken a lot of willpower but anyway i'm going to end this video so that i can get working on that and i will see you in my next one bye